well, lucky for this cheese hat, there's no lions about at the moment. Uh, we actually were going to go try and look for Scar, but um, we got sidetracked by this beautiful cheetah this morning. Remember, this is 100% live from the Maasai Mara in Kenya, and uh, you can ask me questions, or James, or Tristan, or Jamie, by using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now, for those of you who might have missed a little earlier, we watched this beautiful, uh, yet unidentified, or yet to be identified female cheetah give chase to a Thompson's gazelle. Unfortunately, she didn't have any success and um, she is quite hungry, so we're gonna just hang around with her a bit, a bit longer. I've been keeping a, a careful scope on the horizon, seeing if there are any other unsuspecting Tommies wandering in, but so far, not yet. But it is very chilly and very windy this morning and I, I've got so chilly, Dave thinks I'm being a bit silly, but I'm cold, so I've put my shuka on. It's so lovely and warm. Uh, morning, Lee. Uh, Lee would like to know how long does it take for a cheetah to recover after a chase? Um, that one wasn't a particularly long chase, so I don't think it'll take her much longer than 20 minutes to half an hour. It all, all just depends on, on temperature and, and, and how long she chases for. But she didn't chase for too far, so I think she's probably suitably recovered by now. She's just uh, waiting for another unsuspecting gazelle or impala or, or, to wander in. And unfortunately, I actually can't see any. Oh, Darby, let's just wait. Hang on a second. What's that? No, false alarm. It looked like those two elephant bulls were about to fight, but I think they were just playing next to the other car there in the distance. Of course, there are lots of other safari vehicles about. Um, it's a busy morning in the Mara, uh, but fortunately, uh, we are perfectly positioned with our cheetah. And um, well, we might move on. I haven't decided yet, but I, I'm, I hate to leave a hungry cheetah because they are such, such effective hunters, and they do hunt throughout the day, which is always very exciting. Now, the last time we decided to stay with a hungry cheetah, uh, we we managed to see a kill, but it did take about four and a half hours. And I, I joked that we would only eat when the cheetah eats. But it seems like Tristan's caught up with those kitty cats.